Hi, welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and finally, after many, many times being asked, um, people asking if I'm ever going to review one, if I collect them, if I've ever had one, and I have never held one in my hand and actually had it open, I'm finally going to take a look at one of the four horsemen's mythic legions. And I finally decided to pick this up, and this is an older figure, 2021, again, not that old. It's Vetus, but we're not, not only going to look at him, but it is a $50 figure, so it is an expensive figure. Um, we're going to take a look at, the, look at him, the articulation again. He is a little bit older of some of the figures, but we're going to see if he's actually worth the price, because I know Four Horsemen uh, are very expensive, which a lot of these high-end action figures are, but, you know, I've never really heard anything negative about Four Horsemen other than once you have one, you're going to want to buy a whole bunch. Um, so we're just going to open this up. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to see how he is, how the articulation is, and whether or not you think spending 50 bucks on a figure like this is worth it. But before we do get started, if you don't mind, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Always hit, a, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop any type of video so quickly we're just gonna look at the the box art and i really like the way this is packaged now i have seen how they're packaged before you get the whole figure he's just standing right out there you can see one weapon and there are some other weapons over on the side here and on the back you have pretty cool artwork uh, again i have no idea what this figure is but he looks pretty badass and here you have kind of like the cross cell but a little different and i'm perfectly fine with something like that uh, on the side here uh, you have the actual character vetus so this is where you find the name i had a hard time finding the name but he gives a little it's kind of, kind of file color description about him now the one thing that i do like about this uh, mattel creations do the same thing with like sun man they did it but you can slide this open so the figure can just come out without a problem and then when you want to package him back up you just put him back in here slide this back on and you don't have to worry about ruining the artwork so let's not waste any more time because no one really wants to look at me you guys want to see what's in this and whether or not this is a, a figure that's worth it and it's not just this one it's all the four horsemen all the mythic legions again i've only heard good things about it but let's find out if it's actually worth the price that i paid for this all right, so here's the figure. Um, again, I normally, I mean, I like to show you how the figure looks after he's already been opened, but I've never opened one. We're trying to decide whether or not $50 is too much or $45, $65. These things get to be very expensive. Again, he looks absolutely wonderful. You can see I haven't opened up yet. He still has his straps in there. So the way they're supposed to open is you just have these two little tabs here, or you can do it from the top or the bottom. Let's try from the top. If I'm doing it wrong, then I right, well, don't look like that's gonna work. Let's go back to the bottom here. As we can see, this is not going as smoothly as I had anticipated. I kinda gotta get this out of the way. And again, then you can just kinda package them back up. I really like this. I think this is the way Mattel Creation should do all of their um, figures. So here we go, and you still have everything. Be able to slide it right back in there where you want it to go. This nice little backdrop just kind of shows you everything, gives you, I don't know if it's part of the, the story or not. And again, I showed you the back of that before. And there's the guy's little case here. Now again, we can twist these off here if you want to make it so you can just kind of pop the figure back in but I'm not going to try and ever resell this and say that it was never open. So, I'm snipping this stuff off. Ooh, almost knocked over an ugly falcon there. Ugly falcon's gonna fall at some point now that he just got hit with that. So, only two straps, not that bad. I just have this big, giant spear. And we'll get rid of the straps that are holding him in so all right so quickly we're seeing how this figure is 
And I am going to be careful because obviously he has not been heated up. I don't know if these are figures that people talk about needing to be heated up. But, so, going to move around. You know, kind of did a T-pose there. Not a problem. Going to bend them in. Does not have double joints. Uh, so, it looks like there's some limited articulation there. So, let's see. That one bends in there. Now I'm going to say for this for this price, you are losing a lot of articulation. And, you know, if I hammer on Super 7 on their Ultimates at $55, I guess I would kind of have to say the same thing about this. But I think this looks better. So it's not a mask. It's actually the head. And I do believe they pop off fairly easy because you can buy extra heads extra head sculpts so it actually comes right out here so there's like a peg for the neck right there so i'm assuming that's how the heads go in rather than use the neck articulation again i don't have any head joints so if i'm wrong feel free to correct me it looks like this actually does pop off but i'm not going to force it because this thing comes off fairly easily and the knee here Bends about right there. Again, does not look like it's double jointed. But I'm also not having to use any heat. Not loose. He does have the ball joint here. Uh, looks kind of like a McFarlane figure. But because of how the ankle is and the boot or whatever you want to call this is, it gets hidden pretty well. So I'm not going to complain too much. Let's see, the Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, this looks kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, just the way that it's cut in here. It almost looks like one of those magnets. And yes, I am touching this figure up on his under parts. He does not have drop-down hips. Again, I am perfectly fine with that, as I do not like drop-down hips. They worry me. And then he has waist articulation. He can kind of move side to side. Everything that's on it, he's kind of bulky. But his feet are very large. <laughs> very large, to say the least, here. Can you hear that? That is obviously Roman in the back that decided right now he needs to come up here and start bothering me. Go figure. But hey, you know what? If you're a fan of the channel, if you're watching it, you know there's almost always some sort of appearance by Roman. All right. And, I've, and, I, I, and actually, there is no one here at my house right now other than me and a couple dogs. Got my sword here. So I didn't close the door. <laughs> All right. So here's a shield. Got the handle there. It moves back and forth so you can, I guess, so it can come off. I sure hope that didn't break. No, just kind of plugs in right there. Move it to where you need to be. I think that's really nice. And it has a nice little design on it. Uh, it looks like it's a lion of some sort. I'm trying to get it without any glare. But of course, that's not working out for me now, is it? So that looks really nice. Paint apps are good. Uh, all around here is nice and silver. Which would be the color of the actual shield. But the paint... Doesn't seem to bleed over. That looks nice. Here's a sword. It's got a few paint apps down there. It's got some design up here. Here's the blade. It's not, it's not, it's hard, but it also has a little bit of flex. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's just gonna snap. And I also don't feel like I kill myself. I puncture myself with it. Here is, uh, I'm assuming a, I don't know, you can't think of what it's called. <laughs> um, where the sword goes. And it goes around him. We'll get that on him eventually. If, it, if someone can remember, the bandolier, I think maybe that's what it would be called. So here's the spear. Uh, no paint apps on it. Has some nice little designs on it. But no paint apps. That's a little disappointing. Again, expensive figures. Uh, you do want to get 
as much as you can if you're going to be spending $50 on a figure. So, quickly looking at this guy, he really has three different colors, maybe possibly four. So, he's got his skin color, but he has a nice little nice little wash on here. You know what? Let's stop this and put this in 4K. All right, so here it is in 4K. Let me take a look at everything better here. So, here's the shield in 4K. It looks way, way better. And you can clearly see it's a lion. There's the meme all around it. Uh, I think it looks really nice. It's good. Paint apps all look good. Uh, here's the bandolier that I talked about. Maybe it's called something else. It is. It is. Feel free to let me know in the comments. So, I kind of like the way this looks. It's very easy and <laughs> easy just to throw it on there. Uh, and there you can see the sword. A little bit of paint apps, design, everything looks really nice on that. And then the spear, like I said, it's it's kind of pokey, but it doesn't feel like it's going to kill you. And just have a little bit of flex if need be. So now looking at the figure here, as I mentioned, not a lot of paint, not a lot of color to him. So he's kind of dull, but how will he fit with like a He-Man? That's a really good question. We'll pull down He-Man in a second. But... Looking at the muscle structure, I think it looks really nice. There's no pins because it's single jointed, but I think it blends really nice. And and the paint on it, I gotta say, it has the it has that look of the like rubberized um, uh, three zero twelve inch figures that I have. Even though it's not, uh, it has a much better look, and that's just done by the paint. So I think this looks really nice. You know, look at his gauntlets. Uh, nice detail to it. He has no, he has no extra hands. Although I do believe all these hands can pop off, and you can see the hands move a little bit back and forth. You get to his armor up here, and there's really only two different colors. There's this reddish, this dark maroon, um, and then the accent lines. But it comes off looking real nice. He's got this really giant belt that looks like Skeletor. So he definitely would fit in with He-Man as one of his, maybe one of the Eternia guards, maybe one of the main guards. Paint looks really good along the, the, the leather that's hanging down. And again, this overall just looks really, really nice. Now on the back here, their pegs are a little bit different. It kind of has an O face, uh, you know, from uh, office space. Uh, the O face, oh, oh, oh. Anyway, <laughs> if you can't laugh at yourself, who's going to laugh at you? Yeah, I think the muscle structure looks just, it looks really nice. And uh, it looks way better than any types of pin joints, to be honest. But again, look at the gauntlets, the same colors. Then you look at the helmet here. And it looks nice. His head and eyes are obviously made to be further enough back that you're not going to see any it you're not going to see anything in it, and it has the nice accented paint throughout it. Then he's got the giant mohawk, which I I love the mohawk. I love mohawks like this, and he might go pretty good with my warriors of the animal kingdom uh, fighting them. So you have the boots, and again the boots are kind of quirky, but that is how like knights boots you know looks at least how we saw. How we see in movies and everything. So overall, I think this figure looks really, really nice. You know, I'm not sure about, about the, the amount of poses you can get him into. He's obviously not going to be firing any weapons or anything. Maybe a crossbow if you have something like that or a bow and arrow. Now, he doesn't have anything, but you can get accessories to go back there. So I guess we're going to have to pop the head off here. The sword over like this. Well, as you can see, it pops out really nice and easy, so I do like that. Of course, I put this on the wrong way. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to leave it like that because I don't really want to keep changing things around. <laughs> so you got the sword on the back. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to go. It can go either way if you want to be left handed, right handed. How does the sword fit in his hand, you're going to ask. Slides in pretty nicely. We're going to throw the shield on here. 
probably scratching him up. Uh, <laughs> probably scratching him up as he's hitting this. You know, I was trying to look for one of the main characters that had a few different accessories, especially for that price. And again, this is a smaller, a smaller company, Boss Fight Studios. Not Boss Fight Studios. Oof. I don't know if they have beef or anything. Uh, <laughs> the Four Horsemen is the first Four Horsemen figure that I've had. I would love to have double jointed. I'm not going to lie. You can get him some other spectacular poses. But I think I think you might be able to get away with single jointed figures on barbarian style. Uh, because you're not trying to get them in sniper poses or gun poses and different things like that. I think this figure looks really nice. So I think what we got to do is let's stand him up. The boots, the feet just make me laugh because they're so big. Uh, but they look good. There's no doubt about that. So definitely got to grab He-Man here. Now this is based on a 7-inch scale. But I think it, He-Man's supposed to be bigger than, you know, the rest of them you would think. Even they all have the exact same body. So... He's obviously much taller than He-Man, as you can see. Actually matches the one with the dogs, the Mohawk. But he is bigger than Flint here. So all in all, I think this is a really nice, really nice looking figure. I'll pop this off. Waiting for here for my daughter to go pick her up. So if anyone's wondering, but she has to keep the house. <laughs> and there he is with his not javelin, his spear. And even though it's kind of annoyingly large, it works. So I gotta say, I do. I'm I'm, I'm fairly impressed. So let's. Let's call this, uh, let's wrap this up and uh, you can decide what you want to do and if these things might be worth the money. All right, so there you have it. This is my first and only Four Horsemen figure that I've had. It's is Vetus. Again, it's a little older, but all in all, looking at this figure, feeling this figure, it is a nice figure. And like I said, the, the way the arms look, it's not that generic plastic. It's definitely not, not a McFarlane plastic. That is for sure. Um, it it kind of has that like rubber, not rubber feel, but the, the, the rubber that they use, like I said, on the 3-0 figure. So um, I didn't mean to mention earlier, I did pick, pick this up at Sergeant Red's here in Detroit. So if you're ever in the area, it's a toy store you definitely want to hit. Uh, suburbs of Detroit. And again, if you're ever in the Detroit area, Hit me up and I will point you in the direction of some really nice toy stores because there's a bunch of them in the area. We are lucky. When I hear people talk about how they don't have any toy stores, we got them all over and we got good ones. So anyway, there he is, Vetus. I think he looks really nice. I am impressed. I could definitely see myself going to grab another one or two of these. But I do have those uh, Warriors of the Animal Kingdom. I'm hoping they kind of blend in together uh as they are a completely different aesthetic but uh yeah i like this i'm uh pretty happy with this to be honest and just again this is the first you know first 20 minutes that you're seeing me hold this figure and kind of mess around with them uh, but i'll definitely be doing some pictures i think you can fit him in with he-man and skeletor they're a little bit taller but again if you have background characters or you have them in the background different things like that as long as they're far enough away, you can angle it. So it's good. Just that they're standing up right next to each other. But He-Man is about as tall as his mohawk here. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here, okay? Uh, you know the drill. You know the deal. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say. Uh, I Listen, it, if, you do, if you're so inclined, I would like you to jump on the Instagram, a punk with toys, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And again, you know the deal. Uh, take a second, hit that subscribe button. Always, always hit like buttons of any content creator that you enjoy because it tells YouTube people are enjoying this. We are enjoying this, so other people need to see it. And hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop another video. Will I be dropping any more of these? 
I'm not sure. Will I get another boss? Say it again. Not boss fight studios. Another four horsemen. Eventually I will. Even if it's that headless horseman that I ordered, but that's not coming out till next year, which I cannot wait. But I have to because I didn't buy the first one, but I actually like the second one better. There I am, just rambling on. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I want you guys to have a wonderful day, but don't go anywhere, okay? Stick around. Check out some of this He-Man stuff because it's kind of barbarian. And right here, this is a He-Man Skeletor 40th anniversary pack. You'll probably like it. Have a wonderful day.